everyone, it's Crystal again. I am going to have a layout for you today, a scrapbook, a 12 by 12 layout for you today. And I'm gonna use these two photos of when I got the fire truck to come and visit this, uh, the school that I work at. And so um, my idea is to kind of stagger the photos onto the layout like so. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with right now. Um, I'm probably going to use, I was looking at, I think I'm going to use the Studio Calico um, February 2018 kit that I had gotten for like $10 when they were having a sale and probably pull out other things, other embellishments as well from my stash. So I'm kind of going to figure out my papers like I would typically always do um, for this layout. Okay, so from this Candyland kit, I have decided to go with this orange paper. That's probably gonna be my base. And then this us for one. I'm thinking kind of like this side of it, the pinkier. And then also this checkered box one called Lip Wax or Wax Lip Lips. And then maybe use these letters. I saw they had tags in there, like this little tag. And then I'm thinking about maybe doing this little stamp here that says two of a kind, since there's my coworker and I have the helmets on from the firefighters. Okay, so I'm gonna just pull out some maybe some more papers I might work for this layout and then start scrapping. Okay, so I was on my phone looking at Pinterest just to maybe get some ideas for what I can do with this layout. And I kind of saw this one and I like, um, this lay I like the stripes how they did the stripes and then a little bit of the sticking out of the embellishments over here so I'm kind of gonna gonna lift this but in my own way since I don't have the same type of square little photos and flower embellishments but I just what I'm taking away from it I said is like these strips down here on the side and then I have this little tag banners tucked off to the side okay so I found this old studio calico um gal pal paper that's from 2017 um that's a cute side too but i like this side for the layout and then also this made with love by dear lizzie polka dot party um as well for the layout so i'm gonna get started building the layout oh i also did find these project life um frames that i plan on using it as well so i'm gonna start getting started building it I'm busy building the layout and then I'll come back and add my embellishments and title. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to trim down these papers here. I really love this orange paper. Orange is one of my favorite colors. So I was so excited when I, I think that's why I bought that, this um, kit when I saw the studio how close things were on sale. So now I'm going to cut this made by love. I'm just going to use my scissors. I have no, I kind of liked the rough edges. And not being straight so I decided to cut the other side where it was a straight edge and I am going to also use that weathered wood distress ink to ink the edges of my papers so I'm going to trim down this grid paper but um, I end up not using it because I couldn't figure out how I wanted it in the layout so like I said I'm going to ink down the edges of these layout these pages or these papers that I trimmed down <clears throat> Here and I kind of distress, not distress, but lifted the crinkled or rolled the edges up a little to give it a little bit more texture on the layer. So I'm just going to lay these papers down. And if you remember from the image I showed you later, this is kind of following that same layout there. And after I crinkle those edges a little bit, I am going to figure out what I'm going to do next. I'm going to arrange the photos of how I want them on here, but I feel like they still need something behind them to make them pop a little bit off. So then I pick up this checkered paper that came in the kit as well, and I trim it down to 8x8. Eight eight. And again, inking the edges to give it some dimension as well. Okay. Then I'm going to stick it... I thought about putting it there, but I decided I want to stick it behind those layers that I've already made. So I peel up those two strips of paper and just stick it there. And then I like how that worked. 
So I kind of stick the papers together, glue the photos. And I'm going to pull up my tag now. Sorry, my dog's there in the background. And I'm trying to find some thread that I'm going to use in it. So I pull up that twine, then I'm going to pull out some embroidery thread. And then when I lay it down, I realize that it's way too long, but I really wanted that texture of how um, the different shade, the ombre kind of effect. So I'm going to trim it down and make it into a new tag. So I'm just going to use the edges that I trimmed off to kind of give those corner pieces trims and use my little tiny hole punch to make a little hole punch in there so I can uh, thread that embroidery thread back through. Now I'm going to use my stays on to stamp the two of a kind. I don't know if my stays on is the ink. I don't think the ink is out because it's stamped a few times. I don't know if it's stamp or what. I just had some trouble getting that stamp to come go solid down onto paper. As you can see, I'm testing it out onto that scratch, scrap paper that I have there. And I just couldn't. So I just grabbed some, I'm going to grab my black distress ink. So I did it. Oh wait, I actually used the stays on, but when I stamped it onto the tag, it didn't work. So I just said, screw it. I'm going to grab my stays on, or not my stays on, my <clears throat> distressed ink, black distressed ink, and use that. So there we go. And then I tuck that tag behind that photo there. And now I'm going to use some of this yellow orangey washi tape that I had on my table that I think I was going to use in my last layout, but did not end up using. And so I put those there, and then I pull up that frame that I had from the Project Life. And I'm going to tuck it behind that top photo. And I really liked how that worked. And I thought about maybe pulling another one in there, but I just, I don't know, I just didn't figure out, I couldn't figure out in my head how it would work. So I'm tucking some more washi tape down below the photos. I always like to have three points of embellishments. Then I pulled this card, actually. It was sitting on top of my um, documenting cards right there that, it was a darker orange, and I was like, ooh, let me make a some embellishments out of some stamps, or no, punches that I have. So I did like how I also had this white side of, um, that had little lines on it too, so I kind of mix and match the white and the orange. And then I also did pull out that other document card and it was kind of, I think it was sitting right there on top too. Just happened to be these two orange ones were sitting there on top. So I guess I maybe was gonna use them in a previous layout or something. So I'm just kind of fussing with it to see how I'm gonna get them to work, how I liked them laid out. And that's just a Fiskars die cut that I was using and I inked the edge. And then I used some pop dots here to pop, or foam dots to, pop up that orange one there in the top left corner. Now I am going to pull out my embellishments from here that I have. And I don't know, I just, I, I feel like there's a minimal embellishments that I pulled out here. I don't know if I just couldn't find any that would work with this layout or just, I think that was it. Just couldn't find any that I really liked that I wanted to add to this layout. So I'm going to try to link all or tag what all I used down below. So I used some, of course, enamel dots, some stickers and puffy stickers, some vellum sticker stars here. And these are all items I've gotten in old Studio Calico kits, I'm pretty sure, or the from the messy box. Like I said, like I said, most of my materials are really, really old. I think some of them, when I was looking at things, they've been discontinued or they're like from 2013. <laughs> so um, now I'm going to use, I saw, remember I saw that thing, so I'm just going to decide to tuck some more of this orange striped paper behind that I'm pretty sure came from a Kelly Perkini documenting kit. And I just kind of liked how it, these little pops of orange stripes popped out from the different pictures here as well. It's really an afterthought to this layout just because it was sitting on my desk. And now I'm going to try to use these 
kind of vellum-y, opaque, mint color um, letters to write out Firefighter. And I do spell it all out, but I caught cuts of that from the video here because you really didn't even see it. I just, when I finished the ring Firefighter, I just did not like how it looked. So I'm going to pull them up and I am going to look through my stash and I find some white thickers that I like a lot better. So I'm going to spell my title here for Firefighter Visit and I'm going to use these um, white thickers, American Crafts white thickers. And like I said, I'll, um, I'm going to try my best in this layout to, or in this video to um, mention what all the products that I used since I know that some of them are not from the kits, old kits. And then, so I spelled firefighters. I do kind of like how it goes over the photo there. And I kind of wanted the white anyways because I felt like it popped more from the layout. And then I'm just using these tiny alpha stickers that are Tim and Beck, I think, um, to spell visit. And then I'm going to put my journaling down below the title right there about how I um, signed up for the firefighters to come and visit our school. And then they were really cool and let me um, demonstrate on how to put their uniform on. And they let the students, my students, go through their little truck. Or not their little truck, their big truck. Um, just for reference, I teach pre-K and so it was a big hit for the kids to come see the fire fire truck so thanks for watching oh i'm date stamp i'm looking sorry i'm looking to see when it happens i'm a date stamp here and so anyways thanks for watching have a great day like subscribe hit that notification bell for when i have a new video up